Welcome to Nature's Factory Products. In this video, we'd like to provide you with a few key points about the potential aloe vera has shown as an alternative and or complementary therapy in addressing diabetes. Nature's Factory Products encourages you to speak to your doctor before considering any changes to your therapy regimen, and we'll provide some additional online resources for further independent investigation at the end of this short video. Diabetes is a group of metabolic diseases where the body does not produce enough of the hormone called insulin that converts sugar into fuel or because cells do not respond to the insulin that is produced. Keeping tight control of blood sugar levels is the key to avoiding diabetes and other health problems that accompany it such as heart disease, kidney disease, blindness, strokes, and loss of limb due to amputation. Let's highlight some specifics regarding how aloe may help combat diabetes. Reduced blood sugar. Aloe vera has been shown in independent studies to have a regulatory effect on blood sugar level due to substances known as phytosterols, which are plant-based steroids. Studies have shown that phytosterols stimulate insulin secretion, which can contribute to better blood sugar control. Reduced inflammation. Aloe contains a variety of powerful antioxidants and natural plant steroids, again phytosterols, that fight free radicals and reduce inflammation in the body. Inflammation is the body's immune response to any injury, such as a cut or sprain. People with diabetes suffer from chronic inflammation throughout the body which can cause additional damage. Aloe vera can help reduce this inflammation and help the body heal. And finally there's improved circulation. Poor circulation due to peripheral vascular disease is one of the most dangerous side effects of diabetes. When blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to the feet and legs thicken and harden, they can't carry enough oxygen and nutrient-rich blood to the extremities. This loss of circulation inhibits healing of wounds. If a diabetic suffers a wound, it is likely to become infected and or the extremity can simply become necrotic or die and lead to an amputation. Aloe vera helps dilate capillaries which lead to increased circulation and blood flow. So there you have it. We hope that this has been helpful to you. In closing, we encourage you to visit the following independent information sources to do your own proactive research on aloe vera and any natural supplement you're considering as alternative or complementary to your current health regimen. The first is the National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine. Part of the National Institute of Health, NCAM focuses on how natural herbs and plants, long used in folk medicine, can be used to complement traditional medicine. To learn more about NCAM, visit www.nccam.nih.gov. Clinicaltrials.gov offers up-to-date information for locating federally and privately supported clinical trials for a wide range of diseases and conditions. You can find information on a variety of trials that study the effects of natural supplements on health. Then the Natural News Network. This is a nonprofit collection of public education websites covering topics that empower individuals to make positive changes in their health, environmental sensitivity, consumer choices, and informed skepticism. Visit their website at www.naturalnews.com. And of course, we always invite you to stop by Nature's Factory Products website at www.naturesfactoryproducts.com. Thank you for watching.